The Calvert County, Maryland Commissioner's Reports is a headline news podcast provided in part by the Communications and Media Relations Division. Commissioner's Reports is a summary of the agenda and outcomes of regular Calvert County Board of County Commissioners meetings, as well as related public information and events. Hello, and welcome to Commissioner's Reports. I'm your host, Kevin G. Schmidt. In this week's Calvert County Board of County Commissioners meeting, public service announcements. Commissioner President Hans shared his condolences and sympathies for the loss of former North Beach Town Councilman Tom Crockett. March 8th, nations around the world celebrated International Women's Day to honor the achievements of women and girls from all walks of life and the unique challenges that they face. Notable women with ties to Calvert County, whose accomplishments have had far-reaching impact for us all, women, girls, men, and boys. Harriet Elizabeth Brown, Calvert County school teacher who in 1937 fought and won equal pay for teachers of color. Margaret Dunkel created Chapter 9, the 1972 landmark legislation that prohibits sex discrimination in schools and colleges receiving federal funding. Margaret remains active in Calvert County and continues to push for strong community involvement. Mary W. Jackson, taught math at the former William Sampson Brooks High School to African-American students in Calvert County, and later went on to become the first African-American female NASA engineer. Saturday, March 11th, the Commission for Women will hold its 20th annual Women of the World celebration to honor 10 leading women of Calvert County for their outstanding impact in our community. The virtual celebration will be held from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., Register free through the Calvert Library website, calvertlibrary.info. Proclamation. Good Sportsmanship Month recognition. The state of Maryland and Calvert County recognize that sports are a major social force that influences our culture and families. Participation in sports, including coaches, players, and fans, should promote good sportsmanship and foster the development of positive characteristics for physical fitness and positive personal growth. Good sportsmanship can dissuade bullying and promote inclusion by providing a safe and healthy environment where players value respect, fairness, integrity, responsibility, and perseverance. The BOCC proclaimed March 2023 be observed as Good Sportsmanship Month in Calvert County. Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. Recognition. In 1987, President Ronald Reagan first proclaimed the month of March as Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month to provide the encouragement and opportunities necessary for people with developmental disabilities to reach their potential. Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month is a time to celebrate the many contributions people with developmental disabilities make to our society and to recognize the efforts made to achieve a culture of meaningful and full inclusion in all facets of community life. Through awareness and outreach to identify barriers and develop solutions, the idea of true inclusion and integration can become a reality and highlight the principle that everyone benefits when people with and without disabilities live, learn, and earn together in the community. The BOCC proclaimed the month of March as Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month in Calvert County. National Nutrition Month Recognition Since 1972, the National Senior Nutrition Program has funded local agencies and organizations to serve home-delivered and congregate meals that help to ensure older adults have opportunities to stay healthy, independent, and connected. More than 10 million older Americans face hunger each year. Local senior nutrition programs like Calvert Meals on Wheels, with support from the Calvert County Office on Aging, help older adults access healthy foods, education, and counseling while creating social opportunities to develop friendships and encourage overall well-being. A total of 39,735 meals were served to 1,098 older adults in Calvert County in 2022 by Calvert County's Office on Aging staff and Meals on Wheels volunteers. The BOCC proclaimed the month of March 2023 be observed as National Senior Nutrition Program in Calvert County. Appointments. John Gray, Post 220 Representative, was appointed to the Veterans Affairs Commission. Albert Lane III was reappointed to the Cove Point Light Station Commission. Award. March 2023 Employee of the Month. The Employee of the Month Award acknowledges individual excellence for superior job performance and or special individual efforts that go above and beyond the employee's normal work duties. The ERC is pleased to announce that Brenda Seip, 
Bus and Van Driver was selected as March 2023 Employee of the Month. The 2022 Employee of the Year was chosen from among the 12 Employees of the Month and the two 2022 Pride and Quality winners. All county employees were given the opportunity to share feedback on the candidates. The ERC reviews coworker input and gives careful consideration over which of the candidates had the broadest impact within and outside Calvert County government. The ERC is pleased to announce that Lisa Viveret, Human Resources Analyst 2, was selected as the 2022 Employee of the Year. Consent. Office of the Court Administrator, FY 2024 Grant Application for Adult Treatment Court to facilitate entering the program and receiving the necessary treatment needed for a drug-free lifestyle. Department of Finance and Budget Award Recommendation, RFP 2023-023 to provide and deliver medical supplies and equipment for senior care program clients of the Office on Aging. Department of Parks and Recreation Prescribed Burn Plan Agreement to eliminate excessive thatch in the meadows remove unwanted plant species, and stimulate the germination of native warm season grasses. All consent items were adopted as presented. New Business, Department of Finance and Budget, FY 2024, Six-Year Capital Improvement Plan. The Department of Finance and Budget reviewed DPW Transportation, FY 2024 through FY 2029, Six-Year CIP, Staff Recommended Budget, Requests, totaling $37,655,000. Included in this capital project CIP is the Armory Square Development Project. This project was recently awarded 100% grant funding. The project was awarded $60,000 in FY23 and an additional amount of $2 million was awarded for fiscal year 2024 for the design and construction of a multi-use open-air pavilion. The informational presentation helps prepare the BOCC for the six-year capital improvement plan costs as part of the annual budgeting process. Work Session Department of Planning and Zoning, Electronic Message Center Signs. The current sign regulations, located in Article 6 of the Calvert County Zoning Ordinance, CCZO, were adopted in 2018. The regulations were updated due to the United States Supreme Court ruling on the Reed v. Town of Gilbert case. The ruling required that sign regulations be content neutral. However, sign regulations cannot be written based on having to read the contents of a sign. The work session was to discuss if the BOCC would like to consider permitting electronic message signs elsewhere in the county. After discussion, the BOCC requested more information from staff about the history of electronic messaging signs in Calvert County. Calvert County Board of Education FY24 Budget the BOCC met with Calvert County Public School Superintendent Dr. Andre Townsell and Chief Financial Officer Scott Johnson to present the Board of Education's FY24 budget request of $163,715,234, which is a $24,974,168 increase from the FY23 adopted budget and includes 28 new full-time employees costs related to beginning the implementation of the Blueprint for Maryland's Future Act, landmark legislation intended to enhance student outcomes and improve the state and local investment in the public school system, amounts to $9,987,100 of the overall $24,974,168 increase to last year's fiscal request. The informational presentation helps prepare the BOCC for decisions related to the annual budgeting process. Presentation, College of Southern Maryland, State of the College. Dr. Yolanda Wilson, President of the College of Southern Maryland, provided the BOCC with an annual informational update. The next regularly scheduled meeting of the Board of County Commissioners will be held March 14th, 2023 at 10 a.m. In other Calvert County local news, Public hearing set for FY24 staff recommended budget. The Calvert County Department of Finance and Budget will hold a public hearing Tuesday, March 21st, 2023 at 7 p.m. to present and receive comments regarding the fiscal year FY24 staff recommended operating and capital improvement budget. The public hearing will be held at the Commissioner's Hearing Room located at the Calvert County Circuit Courthouse, second floor at 175 Main Street in Prince Frederick. Remote participation details and the FY 2024 staff recommended budget document 
will be made available for public viewing at least one week in advance of the hearing at www.calvertcountymd.gov forward slash public hearings. To ensure full public access and transparency, the meeting will be live streamed on the Calvert County Government YouTube page at youtube.com forward slash Calvert County Gov. The meeting will also be broadcast live on Comcast Channel 1070 HD. Individuals interested in providing comment may submit written comments to 175 Main Street, Prince Frederick, Maryland, attention Don Wood, budget officer, or by email to Don, D-A-W-N, dot Wood, W-O-O-D, at calvertcountymd.gov. Written comments must be received by 4.30 p.m. on March 20th to be made part of the public record. Calvert County residents and businesses can now apply for building permits from the comfort of their own home or office through the county's Encompass online portal. This new feature expands the array of digital services already available to customers through the portal, which include the ability to pay for, manage, and print permits. Customers can visit encompass.calvertcountymd.gov to register for an account. The portal enables customers to view all types of permits, including residential and commercial building, electrical, plumbing, gas, and grading permits, as well as utility permits. Credit card and e-check payments are accepted through the portal for permits issued by Calvert County. A convenience fee of 2.7% for credit card payments and $2.25 for e-check payments will be added to the permit transaction total. Permits are required for certain residential and commercial building projects to ensure that repairs, additions, or alterations are done safely and meet building construction and zoning codes. Anyone planning a project can visit www.calvertcountymd.gov forward slash permit to be guided through what permits, forms, fees, or approvals are required for a specific property or work type before getting started. For additional information, contact the Calvert County Department of Planning and Zoning Office of Inspections and Permits at 410 535 or by email at inspections.permits at calvertcountymd.gov. For help setting up an Encompass account, contact Encompass at calvertcountymd.gov. That concludes our broadcast. The Calvert County, Maryland Commissioner's Reports is a headline news podcast. Stay current with other news in Calvert County by following and liking the Calvert County Government's Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash calvertcountymd on Instagram, at Calvert Broadcast, on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Calvert County Gov, and our official website, www.calvertcountymd.gov. Thank you.